<laughs> Amen. Let's pray. Father, we thank You, Lord, for this day. It's blessed. We're blessed. And everything of the day is blessed. In Jesus' name, Amen. We're going to talk about how to remove the darkness from people that can't see the Gospel, can't get born again, because it, if something's hid, they don't know where it's at, and they can't find it. So look at 2 Corinthians chapter 4, and verse 3. But if the Gospel... Be hid, it is hid from them that are lost. Someone that's lost. That means they're lost in life. They just don't know what to do, what to go. They don't know about Jesus. They don't know nothing about who they are in Christ or anything like that. So if it be hid, and it be, it's to them that are lost. But look at what we do here. Verse chapter 4. In whom the God of this world, notice that's little g, it's always talking about the devil, now the God of this world, the devil, hath blinded their minds. See, why you have, have all this stuff going on, and uh, you're like, how in the world could they even think like that? Because their minds are darkened. Their minds are blinded. God's only help people, but the devil's job is to make people think God's hurting them. See? So Jesus only went about doing good and healing all that were oppressed of the God of this world, the devil. Amen. Acts 10, 38. So it blinds our minds of them which believe not. So we want to change, take that not out. <laughs> take if we won't be a not head, but we'll be a believing head. See? will enlighten their mind, enlighten them, and also the two, so they can believe. They don't have to believe not anymore. They can believe and they can receive the best of God. Less the light. See, the light. But what are we doing with Isaiah 58, 6? It says, Loose the bonds of wickedness, let the oppressed go free, and to break every yoke. Well, that's what we're doing. We have authority over darkness. See, where people can believe. Just like you, you just didn't wake up one day, oh, I think I'm going to believe in God. No, there were some prayers going. Okay? Light of the glorious gospel of Jesus Christ, who is the image of God, should shine unto them too. So the people that's in darkness can believe because we pray and the lights come on, and then they can believe. Amen? So let's keep going. Verse 5. For we preach not ourselves. We don't preach ourselves. We're preaching about Jesus Christ. See there? The Lord. And our service, our, our servant for, we're servants for God's sake. Well, how are you servants? Well, what's a servant do? You say, could you do this? And a servant does it. Well, that's what we're doing. <laughs> Real simple. You don't ever have, you don't have to wonder what God said. We gave you a lot of scriptures there that tells you what how to serve God. Now, this is the kicker right here, verse 6. For God, who commanded, see, we're just, we're just, we're, we're joining up with where He's commanded at. People get weirded out about the Ten Commandments. No, get, 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 get hooked in to who commanded. Okay, what did He command? The light to shine out of darkness. So it's not His will we stumble around here with our eyes closed spiritually and, and not know anything what He's doing. Okay, so He wants us to know that we're, that we're healthy, wealthy, and wise. If somebody making you believe you're not healthy, wealthy, and wise, then guess what? You're going to believe you're not healthy, wealthy, and wise, but you're trying to get it. Hello? That's what most people's prayers are. God's already said you're healthy, wealthy, and wise. What are you saying? I'm trying to get it. I'm a trying. He didn't say that. You receive what someone says by saying, yeah, I got it. See? If, some, if someone you knew, trusted, you gave them money to get some milk at the store, well, people say, well, it's good as gold. You know when they come back, they're going to have that milk. Well, when did you receive the milk? When you touched it? No, when you gave them the money for the milk. Well, that's the same way with God. 
He said that we're healthy, wealthy, and wise. So how do we connect with God? We just say what God says. I'm healthy, wealthy, and wise. Bills could be piling up. Looks like there's nothing ever going to happen. He says, no, I'm healthy, wealthy, and wise. Body be in pain? No, I'm healthy, wealthy, and wise. But you know what happens? That starts working in your life. You'll wake up and be like, oh, I done walked across the room and I didn't even realize I was walking there for a minute. I didn't even think about it. Well, why? Because the healing power of God starts working. The lights come on. You can say it like that. The light to the glorious gospel. Let's read number 6 at the top again. Uh, 2 Corinthians chapter 4 and verse 6. For God who commanded light to shine. There was darkness, He commanded light. He wants you to know what's going on. See, what is the light of the gospel? That He come to heal, He come to help you, He come to make you healthy, wealthy, and wise. See, when we focus on the gospel. Let's keep going. Has shined in our hearts, not out here in the wild blue yonder. Where is He living? Right here. He's living in us. To give the light of the knowledge of the glory of God in the faith of Jesus Christ. You see that? Why did He come? He come to give us knowledge. He come to give us light. Where is it shining? Out here somewhere. No, our heart. Inside, our spirit. The heart is the most important part. Our, our heart of God. And He's done what? He gave glory in God in the faith of Jesus Christ. It says faith of face here, but I look that up and other versions says in the faith of Jesus Christ. So we put our faith in Jesus Christ and the lights come on. Amen. So let's pray uh, for other for people that's not in the light. Amen. We can pray for them and they're like, Oh, the lights come on. What's going on? They all of a sudden, they like being around you and thinking about getting the Bible and doing church stuff. Well, why? Because the lights come on. And the knowledge, this isn't regular knowledge, this isn't human knowledge, this is supernatural knowledge. When they read, by his stripes I'm healed, Isaiah 53, 5, they can't be talked out of it. Doesn't matter what their body's saying. No, I am the healed. See, this heals people too. So let's just right now pray for the three governments, our state government, our local government, and the United States government. Okay, there's a lot going on, and God's turning a lot of things around. So Isaiah 58, 6 says, We loose the bonds of wickedness, let the oppressed go free, and we break every yoke. And we also use this scripture here. The people that the gospel is blinded, that their blinders are removed, and they can receive Jesus in the gospel, in the faith in Jesus now. In Jesus' name, Amen. Y'all have a good one. See you tomorrow on Tuesday. We have a studio audience today. Thank you for help cleaning up. We're getting ready to put a new studio audience, our studio in, so area. So thanks everybody for helping. You have a great one. You have a good one. Bye bye.